I'm gonna add uh, three tablespoons of melted butter. What kind of butter? It's uh, pudra. Oh, very nice butter. Pudra butter. Very good and delicious. Next, we're gonna, that's why we love the butter. <laughs> we're gonna do a, uh, one cup of all purpose flour. Mm. At this point, I wanna turn on my blender. And we're gonna make them very thick. Very thick. So they're like a, you know, powerful. I'm gonna make these big peasants. I'm gonna start adding my flour a little by little. So you add it gently. Gently, yes. yes. It's like topping a barrel. You wanna go gently and softly. You know, it makes me think of the action of batonnage, you know? It's basically this in the barrel. Very yeah. similar than cooking. Yep. And I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt just to balance it a little bit. And then that's it. And then that's it. Look at that. How beautiful it is. Oh! It's right there, thick right and intense. How we want it. So as we're looking at liquid, because the next step is obviously the, crab, the saucepan. I want to tell you all on this fabulous cognac day, because there is a cognac day. Early June is when it is to introduce one of the most amazing creation we've ever done. In the history of all the great spirits, as you know, JCB Spirits is based on the principle of wine distillation, of grapes. And then, obviously, we distill, we filter, we age, we infuse. In this case, we stay on the same concept and we wanted to introduce one of the coolest, most unbelievable package as a Grand Champagne over 45 years of blended age into this amazing cognac, only 1,200 carafes made in the history of time. And a cognac, Raphael, you're gonna love so much because made obviously in the humid she of the cognac region and really welcomed into one of the most amazing carafe with the only one who made it we save a glass and you could see very similar to many perfume flaco this really powerful glass here so it looks like the cognac is actually floating in the glass. Unbelievable cork finish, of course, and an amazing top to really bring this Ixo to life. There's no better friend, when you think about it, than a crepe Suzette with cognac. So we're gonna try it. The nose, white nuts, amber, vanilla, caramel, a little chocolate, Mm. Beautiful spices and length Ooh. and an integration and a balance that is unmatchable. So now, as we taste in cognac, yes. let's go and make the crepe Suzette. Choo, 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 choo. Up to a glass of cognac, we dance it. Let's be gentle. I like my crepes. Maybe I'm gonna so sit on the edge this. this time. Put a random and cognac in the kitchen. Look at this irresistible movement of the arm, ladies and gentlemen. This is very, very good. Let's do another one with a little more, you know. More. Okay. Yeah, thicker. Let's go thick. <laughs> so, Rafael, 20 seconds on each side. At least, yes, 20 seconds. I'm yeah, let's eat. do another scoop for me. One more. One more? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Thick. I want to go thick here. I want to feel something in my mouth. My oh. grandmother used to be the queen at uh, Crepe Suzette, and she would make them very thick. And she would obviously use a very reputable cognac as well. Even as a child, it adds a great dimension. Beautiful. And I think we cannot be shy just having a little sip of that in the crepe. So there's a little squeeze of orange, fresh orange in there on the side. Cool. Let's cool them up a little bit. A little more juice. 
So orange, and orange. what else did you add? I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, vanilla bean, just for extra flavor in there. There's vanilla in there. A goose of uh, vanilla. vanilla bean, delicious. It'll be nice, be generous with the butter. Yes. This is the best part. Let's be wild. Be wild. Ah, ah. Who wants to be on a diet? We cannot go to the beach right now anyhow, so we don't have any stuff to show. We're going to do about a tablespoon of sugar, of course. Mm. Maybe this one is going to be soon. Ready? Do it. That's it. I think we want to show do that. how beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Look how gorgeous. Oh. 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 So that was ready. Put that to the side. Oh, look at this one. I told you a little thicker is always Yeah, it's good. gorgeous, yes. And then you can fold the it grid, as yes. we will. Like an envelope of love. An envelope of passion. So this is going to be the base for both of them. One with the chocolate, one with the mm -hmm. cognac, the same flavor. And we're going to just add some chocolate, a little bit of whipped cream on top. It'll Let's be go wild. Right? We have wild. cognacs, wild. one of the best on the planet. You know, we're going to live well. So in life, it's important to be excessive with discipline. And I love that expression because why discipline? Because in many ways, it's important to know when you're excessive, to let yourself be excessive, and go on that edge. Nothing better. So that's ready. Let's do the... I'm going to use mine because I don't want to... Let me. Let, yeah, let's use yours. I want to cook mine. Wow. Oh, we're we crazy to use our supreme Let's do that. That's it. Let's coat it well, right? It's to be coated. Looks gorgeous. Fold it in. Oh, look at this. That's one. Dear friends, look at this magic. And here, please. Well, I just want to, I just want to show how gorgeous and irresistible this baby is. And then all the glaze goes on top. Oh. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Emotion, emotion and satisfaction. At the same time, you know, this is like a canvas. It's a form of art. I'm going to clean the plate a little bit because if not, the chef will fire me and I want to keep my job. Look at this, how gorgeous it is. Oh, and oh. Let, me, let me put the ice cream, make some nice whole yeah. ice cream. I agree. You need it. Homemade? Yes. Homemade ice cream. Checking it out. It's often the case. And when you want it out, it doesn't come out. Oh! Homemade ice cream with vanilla, I could see. Yeah, the vanilla bean. The vanilla bean. Delicious. Beans. Look at that. Well, I think that's time. time. Let's move to the other one. Yeah, let's do the other one. Well, and I think with the other one, Ooh, look at this. I'm going to give you a little more cognac. Oh, I think it would be great to try the other incredible cognac we have. So, dear friends, we've tasted the new, fabulous, of course, Grand Champagne XO. And now, for my birthday, I really wanted to create the ultimate cognac, the famous 1969. To do this, we found some amazing mouth blower glass out of the south of France to create this one liter unbelievable carafe. And now we went to our favorite cognac maker, worked with him for multiple years to create an exceptional vintage. The one and only 1969. So I'm really excited because this cognac really represents timelessness, stylish elegance, and a majestic feel. And this is what this unbelievable cognac is all about and why Raphael, let's drink to the people born and raised in 1969, the most erotic here. This is where we are, who we are. But we'll try 69 with this other recipe. So what did you do, Rafael? You made it with a banana pasta? 
You're gonna caramelize the banana, a little bit of sugar, touch of water, a little bit of salt to balance the sickness. And also, uh, so we should get it caramelize it. And then add a nice cognac and all over, and then that's it. That looks beautiful. Look at this one. How nice and thick it is now. Yeah. Cheese the way I want it. Maybe three millimeters thick, so she melts as a base. My life is dying. Oh. It better be a good one. This is so exciting to speak about cognac because what greater spirits besides our vodka infused with, of course, truffle and caviar to have as well another incredible spirit made from the grapes. And the grapes of the Southwest, the cognac region, the king region to make that amazing, golden, fabulous gift of God. So look at this. I think we need to get closer here. Wow. Magic. Those delicious. Those you can put them in the plate. Yeah. You mind dropping it? Uh, yes. With pleasure. Look at that. Up, up, up. You yeah. see a glass on your left, a saucepan on your right. And, and for this one, we're going to add some nice chocolate. Shall I help you with the chocolate? There we go. Sorry. I gotta be useful in the kitchen. Well, look at that. Uh, un, deux, trois. Oh, it's melting. Ooh. That's it, maybe. Yeah, it's perfect. We don't want to be too excessive. Whoa. We should finish that one with a little bit of uh, whipped cream. Oh, ah. but of course. Okay. Why not? Butter, egg, flour, you know, cognac. And now with cream. I knew Danelle, she's gonna be excited. And then the banana. Oh, the banana, that's for the banana. Yes, sir. It's got the bananas in there? Yep. Go ahead. I'm holding. Look a nice caramelized bananas in there. Whoa. Cod. The two together is magic. Frankly, Gorgeous. I cannot think of a better recipe. Easy, huh? Eh? All it takes is two minutes. Well, easy Three. for you. <laughs> Dear friends, exciting to be with you today, Cognac Day. Cheers. Cheers.